Hey guys, a new LFM week is there and we are at the beautiful Donington Park. In this video I'm going to talk about a few tips and tricks on Donington Park and maybe you can adapt it to the next LFM race to win the glory LFM races. So yeah, let's get into it. So we are now on the start finishing line and approaching the first corner. Break after the green painted part, stay with the right tire on the white dotted lines and downshift into second gear and try break into that corner. In this corner you should take a late apex as the exit is closing up. And on the exit start accelerating when the road ends on the right side. Slowly apply throttle and don't run wide as there's the astroturf and it's really really slippy here. Turn 2 and turn 3 are flat. One thing you should have in mind is that you should prepare turn 2 for turn 3 so you have a good entry for turn 4. Now coming to turn 4, go on the left side and point the car to the curb. Break at the board on the right side. Also a good point is just break by muscle memory as on this corner you don't have a good braking reference. Especially when someone crashes out and maybe takes the board with him. So. Um, I would recommend to maybe just get a muscle memory on this track. Also downshift into third gear and try break a bit and carry a lot of speed through this corner. This is like for the most of the part on this track. And on the apex go on the green astroturf but don't cut it too much as it's very very bumpy so don't touch the grass on the inside. After touching the curb get on the throttle and run wide onto the outside so you'll go early on the throttle and Use all of the track on the outside as um, yeah the track goes a bit up so you have to have a lot of momentum here. You can also use a bit of grass on the outside, it won't hurt you. Uh, but don't do it in the races as uh, you will get a slow puncture there. Or maybe run a bit higher PSI on this track. Turn 5 is flat and after turn 5 position your car to the right. The reason for this is that you want to break as straight as possible for turn 6 and 7. For turn 6 go over the curb and start braking and the board on the left side is the brake reference for this. Brake as straight as possible. Also a good reference for braking is by the way uh, the curb which ends there. Now getting into turn 7. Uh, try to position your car onto the dark spot on the on the track. Get into second gear and tray break a lot, but also try to carry a bit of speed through here. Turn in a bit earlier than you probably think, so you stay onto the inside. And the apex is a bit before the kink of the corner, you can see. On the exit, go on the throttle before the kink actually, so quite early. Short shift into third gear, so you don't have too much wheel spin. And run wide, but don't use too much astroturf again, as it's really really slippery. And yeah, you run into ABS or if you drive TC off. You get a lot of wheel spin here, so be careful with also your steering inputs when going over these astroturfs. On turn 8, this is a blind corner, so very hard to nail, even I can't nail it every time. The best thing is, the best thing you can do is referring to your muscle memory, that's also a very crucial thing in sim racing, so yeah, that's the only tip I can give you there. Um, on the entry, the braking reference is uh, before the dark spot on this curb. Downshift into second gear and yeah, try break a lot into the corner, so don't try to carry a lot of speed through this corner as in the corners before. On the apex, go over the curb onto the green astroturf on the inside, but avoid cutting the grass on the inside as it will ruin your whole exit and the straight that's upcoming. And also start accelerating while go over the curb. Um, and then just try to have a clean exit, so apply a slowly throttle and stay on the middle of the track so you don't run too wide and also don't run too too tight, so um, you will just lose momentum. For turn 9 and 10, um, in, yeah, this corner is very, very crucial to have a good apex speed as well as a clean exit. Uh, also you can easily get a track warning here, so be careful as well. Break at the dark spot of the curb and stay onto the outside curb. Downshift into third gear and carry speed through that corner. On the apex, don't cut the grass on the inside as you get a track warning. Also, a GT3 car is not a, not a lawnmower, so please avoid it. Uh, it will hurt you, 
not the not even the car or their tires it will also hurt you in track warnings and drive throughs so please just avoid that go on to the right side and don't go over the gravel on the on the right side as uh, it will slow you down and you maybe also get a track warning or also don't have too much steering angle on the exit on the right side as you will destroy your exit speed because the TC is cutting you or you get like oversteer or something like that. So just try to stay as clean as possible. Now coming to turn 11, um, start braking at the board on the left and don't use the curb on the outside as it's bumpy so uh, yeah your braking performance is actually decreasing so just stay on the track and not use the curb. Stay on the left side as long as possible and have a quite late apex. On the apex downshift into first gear for engine braking and go into the inside curb. Don't cut again, don't go over the grass, you're not a lawnmower so <laughs> just keep it clean. On the exit, upshift into second gear and carefully apply throttle so you don't have too much wheel spin. And now coming to the last corner. Brake before the wide spot of the curb, downshift into second gear and turn in early. Because if you turn in too late, you won't have enough front grip and as the track goes down, you will just end up having understeer. On the apex, tray break a lot and go onto the inside. On the exit, go on the throttle and try to rotate the car with it and run onto the outside curb. And just try to be as also a bit clean so don't run too hard into the TC. So just try a bit of slip angle from the tires. That was a lap around Donington and I hope you will improve. The hot lap itself is on my channel as well. So yeah, see you next week. Bye bye.